Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to do a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Capricorn. This is a general love reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Please feel free to pick up what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. If you know your Moon, your Rising or your Venus, those videos will also be linked in the description box below. And if you want a private reading, the ways to contact me are also listed in the description box below. So this is for the week of the 22nd of March to the 28th of March. And while I'm shuffling the deck and getting it prepared, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you. I'm using the Cosmic Tarot by Norbert Loesch. Let's see what is in store for my lovely Capricorns. I'll point the camera down so you can see the table and the cards. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. So Capricorn, what do they need to know about their love for the week beginning the 22nd of March? Thank you. So we start with the Ace of Swords and then I'm flipping that because I flipped it as I was turning it. Strength card. need to know please Oof. we have the queen of wands and the two of cups we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse Oof. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> we have the Eight of Swords. The Prince of Swords. Judgment. And our overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is the energy of needing to work together. So it's that collaboration and cooperation. If you are in a relationship, then you may, um, you may need to work with your partner at the moment on something. Um, and that cooperation and that collaboration with that person is what will strengthen that relationship and bring it to the um to the level that you want it to be at okay if you are a um a single person looking for love then this could indicate somebody that you work with maybe your love interest um but it again it's about cooperating and collaborating with others so you may find your love connection with somebody that um, is connected to you in a work way in some way or just somebody that you um, you find yourself working with on something. So there is, you know, it, it is all about cooperating and collaborating with others. Now we start the reading with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is aces are beginnings so this is a new beginning a new idea some new knowledge coming to to you um about this person that you are interested in or it could be new knowledge um in an existing relationship of how to take it to the next level or to get through a certain situation but this is about Finding the truth, finding the the um, the way forward through knowledge. Knowledge is power. It is new ideas and new information. 
So something is coming that is going to illuminate your situation, whether you're single or in a, a relationship. There is some new knowledge that is to be gained here. We then have the strength card. Now, the strength card is here to remind you to use your inner strength to deal with whatever it is you are dealing with, to act in a very gracious but strong way to protect yourself and protect your loved ones, but to really draw on that inner strength and use it to your advantage here and really be a gracious and gentle person with whomever you're dealing with. Again, whether in a relationship or whether looking for a relationship, you may need the strength to, to see your way through this, this single period um, onto uh, finding the, the love that you are seeking. Um, but, uh, but there is something, there is a connection coming and I'll get to that in a moment. We then have the Queen of Wands. So your connection may be with a fire sign. So that's Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands, she's very um, intuitive. She's, she's very joyful. She's very inspirational. She brings in that fiery, passionate energy. And she is all about creating joy in a situation. So she's bringing you, she's bringing you the joy. She's bringing you the love with the joy. So if you're in a relationship with a fire sign right now, this could be your partner at the moment, or it could just be a reminder to let that, let that passion rise, let that joy come in and use your intuition and your inspiration to help nurture and grow that relationship. We also have the seven of pentacles underneath her, which is all about nurturing and growing something and developing something. So this, um, sorry, itchy arm. <laughs> this, uh, you know, is a reminder to, to nurture the seeds that you've planted. So if you're single and you've been looking and you've put yourself out there, then um, then keep on going, you know, keep working at it, keep trying, keep going. And also let, let it breathe, let the situation breathe. If you're in a relationship and that relationship it needs, needs some nurturing, needs some encouragement um, and and your partner may need space to breathe, you may need space to breathe in order to do that, then allow that to happen. Allow the natural order of things to come. Pentacles are earth signs. They're all about um, developing, growing, building, producing something, creating something and building upon it. So this is a good, good sign for something that is... Um, that is in its its stage of growth here. Now we then have in the middle of the reading we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Now the wheel of fortune this is all about you know um, uh, changes and fate and destiny and all of those sorts of things. Now it came out in the reverse which can be an indication that you may need to relinquish some control here. Stop trying to micromanage every situation that you're in. Um, life has ups and downs. That's the way it is. You know, there's there's good and there's bad. There's positive and there's negative. The, but the wheel keeps on turning. So if at the moment you're in a situation where things are not going particularly well, then try to try to let go a little bit and let that wheel turn because it can it can turn back to to being in your favor you can flip it up the right way and get it turning in the right direction again for you um but there is an inevitable change coming here and you can't control change change will happen the only certainties in life is that things will never stay the same and things are always changing and moving and growing. So 
just try to relinquish some of that control because you have a union whether you're single or in a relationship there is a coming together a un union of souls here with this two of cups this is the minor arcana version of the lovers you know are you going to choose love are you going to choose to to feel are you going to choose to let go and to allow love in or are you going to still try to halt that wheel of fortune and stop those changes from happening the choice is yours but this is that card of togetherness that card of union so if you are single maybe somebody coming in and offering you that partnership that you desire and if you're in a relationship it's it's about really solidifying that relationship and being as one working together okay that three of pentacles we then have the eight of swords underneath that and this is connected to that wheel of fortune the eight of swords is eights are about movement and the eight of swords is about non-movement it's about fear of change fear of moving forwards because you feel like you might make the wrong decision but don't let that fear hold you back it is it is the fear within you it isn't it, it isn't something that you can necessarily control here. So trying to micromanage it, trying to see every possibility and every outcome and and thinking, you know, of every situation as it could possibly be is is not going to help here. Whether that's, you know, within a relationship, if you're feeling a bit stuck, a bit trapped, a bit like, oh, I'm not sure if this is going to go where I want it to go. Do I want to be with this person? Do I not want to be with this person? Or whether you're single and you're looking for love, love and you're sort of, you, you may be choosing between people. You may be wondering what your options are. You know, if I if I answer this person on a dating app, is is this going to be the wrong thing? You know, that that kind of stuck energy there. But like I say, you cannot stop the wheel of change. You cannot stop the wheel of fortune. It will keep turning. Now, you may be dealing with an air sign because not only do you start off with the ace of swords, but you then have the prince of swords or the knight of swords. And so those air signs, again, to reiterate, that's Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Um, and this is a, uh, a person who comes in with new knowledge and um, new way of thinking, new inspiration. And he's also in the traditional Rider Waite, the Prince of Swords or the Knight of Swords is that knight in shining armour. So it may be somebody who wants to come in and give you that, that uh, you know, sort of it feels like they want to rescue you in some way if you're a single person. It may be that person who has that, that idea of coming in to make life better, bringing in their energy and bringing in their offer and bringing in their truth to open you up and open your heart to your truth. Um, for those of you in a relationship, again, this may be some new knowledge that you are going to gain about that relationship, some new inspiration, some new ideas, some new ways forward. If you're in a relationship with somebody who has air energy, um, then you know, then that's going to make even more sense to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be their sun sign. It can be their rising, their moon or their Venus or any other part. We all have all of the signs in our um, in our charts somewhere. It's just how prominent they are. Um, <coughs> but this is about truth and honesty and being honest with yourself and with each other and really taking that knowledge to enhance your relationship we then end with judgment now judgment is past present and future so for some of you this may be um someone from your past coming back to give you that offer of love now this can be a past relationship or a past life relationship 
but this is something that is, you know, it's the interconnection there of the past, the present and the future. And it's, you know, it's judgment. So it's, it's, is it, is it the right thing? You know, is this, is this just, is this, is this good? Is this balanced? Is this what you want? You know, it's that kind of energy of, um, the the self-realization here letting your heart's desire come forwards not being afraid to declare what you want um and being totally transparent you know we have these swords here which is about communication and transparency and honesty you know you need to be honest with yourself and you need to be honest with your potential partners or your partner if you're in a relationship it's yeah sorry it it's i'm trying to think of of how to express this here it is that self realization um it's it's reminding you that it's time to let go of negative stories negative past negative energies you know let go of any past hurts let go of things that are holding you back put the mistakes where they belong in the past you know um drop your mask and open up your heart to the possibilities of your future whether that's with your partner or with somebody new. But those of you that are seeking love, look out for somebody that you feel like you may have known before, or it could be a past relationship, you know, an ex coming back to give you an, an offer. And it's up to you whether you take that or not, you know, you might be an ex for a reason, but maybe this is somebody that you have wanted to have another go at a relationship with and they're coming back to offer that oof lots of lots of change coming here for you um my lovely capricorns and you may not want it you may feel because i know you are you are a sign that likes to control situations and control the, you know, uh, your life and and have an awful lot of self control there. But you know, it doesn't hurt to let go once in a while and let that wheel turn. Okay, these are whispers of love oracle cards um, by Angela Hartfield. Yeah, and it says, "Speak the language of love." Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Yes. That's that sword energy, that communication. When you're communicating, communicate with love and honesty. Love that. What else do my lovely Capricorns need to know, please? Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Strength again. That's beautiful. Yes. You have the strength to, to let go. You know, you have the strength to develop your relationship in the way that you want. Let your heart's desire be known. Okay, I'm going to take a Romance Angel Oracle card by Doreen Virtue. As to my lovely Capricorns need to know. Thank you. We have, oh, yes. We have the Soulmate card. Yes, this is your Soulmate. Oh, see? Soulmate, past life connection. Wow beautiful and that's true whether it's somebody who is coming into your life it is a soulmate connection 
or you may already be in your soulmate connection and if you are congratulations ask my lovely Capricorns need to know please thank you and we get stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance beautiful that's come up a lot in these readings this week gorgeous energy yes keep that optimism i'm going to take a celebrations of love oracle card ask my lovely capricorns need to know please oh gorgeous get the card of bliss spirit of the sand and sea oh that's just beautiful. You are going to have true bliss. <gasps> beautiful energy here. Okay, I'm going to take a um, healing with the fairies, also Doreen Virtue. Ooh. And we get the magic of nature. Now, this can mean several different things, but in this particular reading, I'm going to interpret this one as letting go you know let let things nature is very powerful and it can it can grow and develop and change and alter without any interference from man you know um it's that seven of pentacles nurture and care for and look after your natural state but also let it breathe and let the magic happen gorgeous okay what else do my lovely capricorns need to know Woo. yeah and we get the card of laughter don't forget to laugh and have fun you know, enjoy life. That's what you're here for. I'm going to take a magical mermaids and dolphins. Hello, Piper. My dog has come to join me. <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. <laughs> Go on, then. Good girl. Sorry about that. Little little cuddle interlude. <laughs> what else do my lovely Capricorns need to know, please? <laughs> She's still trying to get her ball out. Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. Yes, you see, you can't stop change. And this one is going to bring you great blessings. I love that. Let go. Piper, go and lie down. It's a good girl. And we get playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing. A joy creates miracles and manifest as joy creates miracles and manifestations. Yeah. See, have fun, play, enjoy life, let go and let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care, receive without guilt or apologies. Not always easy, I know, and that sounds so bizarre to some people, but it can be very difficult to receive because we we as humans are designed in a way that we want to give and sometimes you know allowing others to to give to you gives them more joy than you could possibly imagine okay 
I'm going to take a healing with the angels, story and virtue, and then I'll close the reading. And this has come up a lot as well. We have the card of abundance. Yes, allow the abundance of love to come to you. Receive it. And we get meditation. When you're feeling like you you need to control everything and you need to micromanage, take time, meditate. Think about what it is you truly want. Let your heart's desire be known. And you find that in a state akin to sleep or meditation. I hope you enjoyed this reading. It seems like a very lovely, um, lovely week for you filled with love and magic. And I hope that you are able to let go and allow those changes and allow all that love to flow to you. But until next time, please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Namaste.